Hey everyone, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you two new Boost equipped Adidas sneakers that I didn't know ever existed until I saw them in store. So I dropped by Adidas over at BGC and I took a look at all the new pairs and I'll be sharing with you all of those shoes as well as those two new pairs, one of which I bought, I will unbox and put on feet for you guys today. Tara! Anyway, before we get started, let me share with you where Dusty usually chills during the afternoon. Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity Gauntlet, Funko Pop, Funko Pop, Dusty, Dusty, Ujujuju, 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 Dusty, say hello to the vlog, say hello to the humans watching, Ujujuju. Also, quick reminder, we are giving away a Koala Flex Fit smartwatch. So all you guys have to do is to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, and then click the link down below for the rest of the mechanics so you can be part of the draw, which happens on January 31. Boom. Now, before we get to those two new Boost Kip sneakers, I'll share with you some of the latest shoes that are available over at Adidas BGC. The first one is an Adidas Ultra Boost 1.0 in the black and white color. Kind of gives me like panda vibes. This one is super nice, super dope, and it's amazing that you can now cop high quality, well designed sneakers like this for retail. If not, maybe even less if you give it a few weeks or a few months and nobody buys them. So that one sitting on shelves, one of the best looking Ultra Boosts that have released so far this 2021. Speaking of Ultra Boosts, there is a new Ultra Boost 20 featuring the Chinese New Year uh, design. So it has what looks to be some sort of like ox at the back and then you have it in almost all black except for the gradient gold colors that you see for the stripes on the lateral and the medial side. So if you are a fan of the Ultra Boost 20 silhouette and you want to celebrate Chinese New Year in a more special way by copying shoes, check that one out. There were also new colors of the Adidas Ultra Boost 5.0. If you weren't able to watch my on-feet review and unboxing of the 5.0, I will leave the link down below. So the first color that we have is some sort of white with accents of vault and pink. Really crazy color. Uh, it definitely will turn heads and grab attention. The second one is a cleaner white version with accents of vault, specifically in the sock liner as well as the three stripes on both sides. So both sneakers featuring the 5.0 silhouette. You might want to check it out if you're an Ultra Boost fan. And then we get to a couple of 4D shoes. The Adidas Ultra Parley in chalk white is available up to size 12. So the upper uses the Parley recycled plastics. Very different because it doesn't use the typical upper of the Adidas Ultra Boost. And this one, of course, has the 4D midsole. Now, the biggest problem with this one is that it is hella expensive. It sells for 16,000 pesos. So definitely, you know, out of the price point of a lot of people, of the budgets of people. But hey, if you're a fan of Parley, if you're a fan of Chalk White, if you're a fan of 4D, and you might want to check this one out. And speaking of 4D, the Black Yellow Cyberpunk collaboration is still sitting on shelves. So if you are a fan of the game and you want this particular special edition, shoe it is still available over at adidas bgc and then we get to the first sneaker that i will share with you that had boost that i never knew existed up until i went to the adidas store so this is apparently called the adidas clima cool or clima cool venta and it features a black and white colored upper and then it looks like it has like broken up chunks of boost uh, for the midsole so it is definitely a very striking and different design and the moment you see it you'll just you know you really have to stare a bit because it just kind of looks crazy and the color while it is black and white and while the overall design is crazy the color actually makes it a little bit more wearable and versatile so if you are looking for a very different shoe that's a that's unique that will stand out but won't be as loud as like a yellow shoe, then you might want to check this one out. It sells for 7,900 pesos. Now that's actually the sneaker that I ended up buying and I was able to put it on feet and try it out. And what I can tell you, two things. Number one is that it's not for people with wide feet. Why? Because the upper is not as stretchy. It's not as flexible because it uses some sort of, it's not knit, eh? it's, it's some sort of like mesh 
but a bit firm, but it does have a lot of holes and perforation. So it is a cool kind of shoe. So it will allow for air to wash over your feet if you are walking in them or running in them. But again, it is not for people with wide feet. I actually went a whole size up to size 13 and it still feels a little bit uh, snug, especially in the midfoot section. However, when it comes to cushioning, overall like, you know, feel when you are walking around in them, they're actually very comfortable. Uh, the boost, you feel it, the, the cushioning is there, um, the energy response is there. It is more casual than it is a running shoe in my opinion. Uh, and it, it, it does feel a little bit different because of the broken chunks of boost as opposed to just one slab of boost. So it reminds me more of the POD 3.1 in a more refined way. This one sells for 7,900 pesos. I actually wouldn't recommend that you buy it. Just wait for it to go on sale because I don't think people will flock to the store to buy it anyway. So if you want one, and you can wait, you're not in a rush, then just wait for it to go on 30, 40, 50% sale. You'll probably get it then. And there you go, my cat. My cat, my cat. Dusty, what are you doing? So that shop was the Adidas Performance Shop over at High Street. There's another Adidas lifestyle or neighborhood shop at the far end near Shangri-La Hotel. And there, I found another Boost-equipped sneaker that's like the first time I ever heard of it and the first time I ever saw and felt it. So this one, let me just refer to my notes. It's called the ZX Alkine or Alkine. It sells for 7,800 pesos. And initially, I didn't think it had Boost. Because if you take a look at the midsole, it looked like some sort of shiny blue material. But apparently, if you look closer and you start pressing on it, uh, it is boost. So it is some sort of like colored or more bonded TPU. So it does use boost material. It just doesn't look like it does, but it is. So you are starting to see Adidas experiment more with the overall look and style of the boost material itself. This is one of the best sneakers to represent that because you can hardly tell the, the pellets anymore or the individual boost like circles. So you will really have to press it to feel it and know that it is boost. Now, I wasn't able to buy it. I actually wanted to bring one home to be able to test and do a review for you guys, but they didn't have it in my size. So too bad. But this one sells for 7,800 pesos. I also don't think it will sell out. So just wait for other models that come out this year. You can probably get it at a big discount when they put it on sale. By the way, quick question. Which of the shoes that I've shown you so far do you guys like the most? Let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe while you are at it. Now, two more sneakers that caught my attention over at the Adidas neighborhood, neighborhood store. First one is a really nice blue colored 4D. Uh, again, 4D shoes are pricey. 4D shoes are uh, expensive and I wouldn't recommend it to everyone. But hey, if you have the budget and if you like 4D, this one was just a really nice looking colorway. And lastly, the new ZX2 case that were collaborations with uh, Ninja, one of the most popular streamers and esports, I think like players or celebrities in the world, is already available. One in some sort of like yellow, black, white color. I'm not really a fan, it says it, uh, time in or something on the, on the tongue. Uh, but yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. But hey, if you are, then you might want to check it out over at Adidas uh, BGC. And there you have it. Those are the shoes that I found to, uh, well, interesting. And those are the two new Boost equipped shoes that I was able to discover going around BGC. Let me know what you guys think of the shoes. Hit the comment section. Let me know which one you like the most. And quick reminder, I am working on my Adidas Ultra Boost 21 review and comparisons. I did an unboxing. That was the video that went up yesterday on the vlog. So if you missed that one i'll link it down below go have a watch so in tomorrow's vlog which is supposedly wednesday uh, that is my first on feet review of like initial impressions of the ultra boost 21 so make sure that you guys are subscribed make sure that you watch that video when it drops because i'm sure a lot of you are interested to find out if it's a good shoe or not and with that said this is carlos signing out i hope you all have an amazing productive week up ahead peace god bless what's up boom